everybody, welcome to another week of Pilates Plus Physio. Today we are going to start off in sitting, so you need either a little stool or a firm kitchen chair. So, you want to be sitting right up tall and just really feel your bottom bones underneath you. So you might be sort of on the back of your bottom bones with your back slightly rounded, or you might be sort of off the front of them. But ideally, just sort of round your back so you can feel your bottom bones sliding underneath you. And then just come up nice and tall, feel your bottom bones pointing straight down towards the floor. And again, just rock off them. Come back up onto them. And again, just rock off and come back up. So think of your sit bones like two little arrows and they're going to stay pointing straight down towards the floor. So rest your hands on your legs and just gently slide one hand down to your knee and slide the other one back up to your hip and then go the other way. So keep looking straight ahead, one hand to your knee and one hand up your hip. You've got your hand resting on your legs. So it's just a nice sliding your hands along your thighs and you're really thinking of turning your chest as you do that. It's a lovely one if you're spending a lot of time sitting or a lot of time at the computer just really want to loosen up that upper back area good and also if you've got neck pain because you're getting the upper back sort of twisting underneath your neck so just nice and smooth think of think of a nice bright searchlight coming out of your chest and you're swinging that around to one side of the room and then round to the other side so just really smooth A little bit more. Great, okay. Just come back into the middle and maybe lift the toes off on one foot, toes off on the other foot. So alternate toe raising, toes in front of your foot. And then heel off on one leg, heel off on the other leg. Keep that feeling of the spine staying nice and long. And then maybe toes off on one, heel off on the other. Toes off on one, heel off on the other. So just again, nice and smooth. Just get the calves working, the ankles warmed up a little bit. Great, okay. Maybe have your hands over the front of your knees. Keep sitting nice and tall. Imagine you're in the cinema, the seat in front of you is pretty close and you're just gonna push your knee into the seat in front of you. And then you draw that one back and you push the other knee forward. So you're getting a nice rotation at your pelvis. Pressing one knee forward, pressing the other knee forward. Just watch you're not hitching up at the side of your waist. So the side of the waist stays nice and long. Push one knee forward, push the other one forward. This chair's got a bit of a creak. Lovely, okay. And then make a fist, put it right in the middle of your chest. Imagine one of those big searchlights, like in those sort of German war movies, coming out of that fist. And you're just going to take the searchlight right the way around to your left. And then all the way around to your right. So your head goes to this time, going all the way to the left. All the way to your right and back into the middle. Maybe take your legs a little bit wider. Think of that light going straight up the wall in front of you, all the way up to the ceiling. And then bring it all the way down the wall, along the floor, right down in between your knees. So keep sitting pretty much right up on your bottom bones. This is again, upper back. And it's sort of easier to do it in sitting because you're taking out or not allowing your lower back and lower body to move all the way up to the ceiling, all the way back down to the floor. Okay, come back into the middle, 
Go as far as you can to the left. See if you can get into a corner. Go up the corner of that wall, all the way along the roof to the top right hand corner, all the way down, bottom right hand corner. And then maybe go in a diagonal, up to the top left hand corner, down, bottom left hand corner, diagonally up, top right hand corner, back along the ceiling, and then maybe try doing a little circle with that light. So just really getting that upper back moving and then circle the other way. If there's bits that you kind of think, oh, that's a bit stiff in there, maybe just work into that area a little bit more. Nice one if you're a tennis player, badminton, any of those sports that involve a lot of twisting, you want to make sure that that upper back area is nice and free. Maybe going up into the corners a bit, down into the bottom corners, just freestyle. Lovely. Okay, come back into the middle, legs even wider, hands in between your legs, chin on your chest, pull in your tummy, reach down as if you were going to touch the floor in between your feet. Don't worry if you don't quite get there, tummy in, unfurl all the way back up. And again, chin down to your chest, scoop in the tummy, reach down. Pull in hard and furl all the way back up. And again, chin on your chest. Roll that, reach down, reach down, reach down. Scoop in and curl right back up. Great, okay. So pop the stool to one side and come down so you're lying on the mat. And you could have your band and just tie it around your legs. So band just tied, not too tight, so just so you've got a little bit of tension in the band. And it's probably just above your knees. So you want your legs just about hip width apart, feet down flat. Let your back just relax down into the mat. Maybe pop a hand on your upper tummy and breathe. So let your back sink into the mat as you breathe in your tummy comes up, as you breathe out your tummy goes down. Okay, and then pop your arms down beside you. I'm just going to work into a spine curl. So start off just gently flatten your back into the mat and release. So not even getting your tailbone off the floor. Flat, so it's a pelvic tilt. So if you had a marble sitting on your lower tummy, you're just literally rolling it to your belly button and then away from your belly button. Nice one if your back's really stiff and sore and you don't want to or can't bend. It's a good one for just getting that bending movement going. And you're just very slightly pressing out into your band with your legs. And then maybe start to just get your bottom a little bit further off the floor. So think of your back like, you know, a bicycle chain. Starting off just taking one link at a time off the floor. And then you're just gradually working on it so that you're getting two links. Maybe next time three links. Four links. So you're just coming up, weight in, coming up now between your shoulder blades. A little bit of outward pressure into the band. Okay, you could maybe 
maybe take both arms up towards the roof. That just kind of moves your shoulder blades away from your spine a little bit. And then you can really almost sort of do a self mobilization movement of that upper back area because obviously as you roll over it each little vertebra a bit like coming down over some piano keys you're just getting each key in turn pressing down a little bit of outward pressure through the legs that gets those outer thigh muscles working just a couple more Okay, maybe next time you've got your bottom up, keep it up. Just move one knee a little bit further out to the side, bring it back in, other knee out to the side, back in, and you could put your bottom straight back down this time. So you might want to move your feet a little bit closer to your bottom, and this time press into your feet, bottom up. So not curling this time. One knee out, bring it back in, other one out, back in, bottom straight down and again coming up so one knee going out to the other side the other knee staying still bring it back in one knee out to the side back in bottom down and again hips up one knee out back in other knee out back in bottom down and just one more one knee out, back in, other knee out, back in, bottom down. Okay, keep the band on, maybe turn onto your side. Uh, we'll do an arm opening first, so just give the hips and buttocks a bit of a rest. So hips and knees bent, both arms out in front of you, head resting on your brick. So top arm right the way up and over, follow your hand with your head. Keep the knees together and keep the underneath leg stuck on the mat. So again, this is a lovely one for just loosening off that upper back area. Maybe work with your breath. Breathe in as you open. Breathe out as you come back. Think of painting that beautiful big rainbow all the way up on the ceiling. Knees together. So don't worry if you're not getting to the floor at the back. Could work with your breath a little bit, maybe breathing in as you open. And breathing out as you come back. And again, breathing in to open. And breathing out to come back. Good, good. Okay. Uh, pop the headrest to one side, underneath arm right up above your head, really roll forward, so get your elbow on the ground, hips and knees together, we're going to do the clam with the band on, so top knee up, slowly back down, and again, so heels together, top knee, don't worry if you're not moving very far, and don't worry too much if the band is, is fairly slack when you start, because obviously when you were on your back, you had your knees slightly apart. So you just lift and hold. You'll soon feel those side of the buttock muscles doing something. Watch you're not letting your whole body roll back. So really stay forward. Top knee up. Down slowly. And again, top knee up. Hold it there. Slowly down. You might find the underneath leg is working quite hard as well. and hold keep the heels stuck together think of using that side of the buttock side of the thigh muscle great okay and then if you guys turn on to the other side. I'm going to stay on this side for now, otherwise you'll be looking at the back. So we're going to do the arm opening on the other side. So head resting on the block, 
both arms out in front, hips and knees bent. Top arm up and over. Follow your hand with your head. Lovely opening right across the collarbones there. Keep the knees together. And come all the way back. And again, breathe in as you open. And breathe out as you come back. Sore shoulders, you could rest your hand on your head and do it that way. The top arm up and over. Think of really making that arm as long as you can. Reach right out through your fingertips. And come back. And again, top arm up and over. And back. Keep the underneath legs stuck on the ground. Great, okay. And then we're going on to the clam with the band on. So, underneath arm up above your head, hips and knees bent, roll forwards through the shoulders, so almost like you're going to sleep, or that sort of recovery position. Keep the heels together, top knee up, press into the band, and down slowly. And again, top knee up, press into the band, slowly down. You can get that side of the buttock muscle a bit of a pat if it's not doing what it should be doing. Just make sure you're not holding your breath. Heels staying stuck together. Come back onto your back. Take the band off. Uh, pop your hands underneath your head. And just take your elbows up towards the ceiling and let them open right back towards the floor if they will. And again, elbows towards the roof. Open them back down towards the floor. And again, elbows towards the ceiling. Open back towards the floor. So keep the elbows back and wide. We're doing an oblique curl up, tuck in the chin, engage your pelvic floor muscles, think of coming up and across. And release down. Tuck in the chin, up and across. And release down. Chin in. Up and across. And release down. So crisscross dummy muscles doing the work. Remember they control all those spike twisting movements. They sort of store energy when you're walking to make for an efficient walking pattern. Up and across, elbows staying back where you can hardly see them. So one elbow on the floor, other one back where you can hardly see it. Little chin nod, up and across. Little chin nod, up and across. And one more little chin nod, up and across. Great, okay. Take your arms right out to the sides, just release the neck, gently roll your head one way, roll your head the other way. Bring your knees and ankles together and just drop your knees right over to the left, turn your head to the right. So you're just going to stay there in a gentle stretch, so knees going one way, head the opposite way, arms right the way out and just stay there. 
So just kind of scan down through your body, see if you can feel anywhere that's tight. And just think of gently letting go through that area. And then gently draw the tummy in, bring the knees up. Drop your knees to your right, turn your head to your left. And again, see if somewhere different feels tight on the other, you know, now you've gone the other way. So you might have been tight on one side, but not, not tight on this side in the same place. It might be somewhere else hanging on. Scoop in the tummy, knees back up into the middle, and then just turn over so you're lying on your tummy. So start off, um, hands together underneath your forehead, flatten right down on the mat. Um, just do alternate knee bending. So bend your leg up and do a little kick with your toes pointed, then with your foot flexed, then with it pointed and down. So it's point flex, point and down, point, flex, point and down, point, flex, point and down. So you can stay down flat or you could prop up on your elbows. If you're on your elbows, you want your shoulders away from your ears, chin in, think of drawing your tummy up away from the mat. Palms down flat, fingers pointing top of the mat, same again, point, flex, point and down. Keep that feeling of really digging your elbows into the mat, pushing your chest away from the floor. If you're feeling coordinated, you could try looking over the opposite shoulder at your foot. So over your left shoulder when you're bending your right leg, over your right shoulder when you're bending your left leg. Point, flex, point and down. Point, flex, Point, flex, point and down, point, flex, point and down. Keep the shoulders away from your ears, point, flex, point and down, point, flex. Lovely. Stay up on your elbows, chin in, tummy in, nice big gap between your shoulders and your ears and just turn your head all the way to the right and back and all the way to the left. All the way to the right again. Don't worry about the creaking and the crunching. All the way to the left. Back into the centre. Let your chin drop right down so the top of your head is dropping sort of towards the floor. And then think of drawing a line with your nose along the mat. And then up the wall in front of you and then bring your nose down, chin tucking in, back of the neck nice and long. Let your head drop. So think of your head being really heavy, it's dropping down towards the mat, but you're still pushing your elbows into the floor. And then come up again. So just think of uncurling, head just back into the middle. And then come up onto your hands and knees, Knees apart, about as wide apart as your mat. Bottom just back to your heels, nice and smooth. And creep your fingers to the right edge of the mat. Breathe into the left side of the ribs. And creep your fingers to the left edge of the mat. Breathe into the right side of the ribs. And back into the centre. Up onto hands and knees. Bring the knees underneath your hips. Fingers pointing forwards. Press, press the mat away from you. A little bit of a hollow through your lower back. Chin in. 
one arm out, diagonal leg pushing back behind you. Hold it there. And bring the arm and leg down. So right arm and left leg, or left arm and right leg. Think of that nice large cappuccino or something balancing on your bottom. Keep that there. Press back with the leg, float the arm out in front. Hold it there. Chin in. Down. Other side. So you're reaching forward and pressing back with the leg. And balancing when you get there. Great. One more on the other side. Press back through the heel. Lovely. Both hands down. Knees together this time maybe. Bottom back to your heels. Arms in front, curl right down. If your knees don't like it, curl on your side. Bring your knees to your chest. Good. And curl back up. And maybe come up into kneeling. If your knees don't like it, you can roll the mat up slightly. So maybe bring one knee forward, other knee back. I might roll the mat up a little bit. The floor is quite hard. So, one knee in front, other knee back. Think of a nice straight line going down the front of your hip. And then just push that hip forward a little bit. Keep the tummy in. So if you're kneeling on your right knee, you can take your right arm right up towards the ceiling. So it's the front of the hip stretch. Just think of keeping your back in that normal little hollow. What you often see is people just overarch their back and go miles forward and then you don't quite get the same stretch on. So keep the tummy muscles switched on, keep your back in that normal hollow. Good, bring that down, swap legs. So, Kneeling up on one knee, one leg forward. Scoop in the tummy, think of really lengthening up through the spine. Push that one hip forward. Arm on the same side going up. So you're getting a nice sort of stretch right down from your fingertips all the way to your toes. You're just getting that whole structure lengthening. back come all the way up into standing so standing nice and tall maybe put one foot right in front of the other one arms up in front and just taking one arm out to the side and back in other one out to the side and back in if you're feeling nice and steady as you take the arm out, you could turn your head and come back in. And the other side, turn your head and back in. Good, swap your feet over. So one foot forward, one back. If you're a little bit wobbly, you could slightly offset your feet. Stand tall, fix your eyes on something not wobbling. Arms up in front, one arm out. And back in, other one out, and back in, arm and turn your head, and come back, arm and turn your head, and back. Drop the arms, slide the shoulders up, and let them drop, and again slide up, and release. And just one more, slide up and let go. That's it. Thanks so much for joining me again. See you very soon. Bye-bye.